Good morning, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let me get this out of my ear. So this morning, y'all, we're going to be talking about some Dior. Dior. Um, y'all, because I messed around and messed up and, and forgot to include Dior in my Sephora recommendation. So I'm going to be doing Dior this morning. It's going to be the Sephora recommendations but it's the dior edition featuring dior <laughs> y'all see i got my coffee this morning got my lucky cup here hopefully i'll have some luck who knows i love this cup i love it all right i love it because look how heavy it is y'all and i think i got this cup from marshall's or somewhere but look how i mean this cup right here is is such and then look at the inside I just love this cup. It's like one of my favorites. This one and the Snoopy one. All right. I just got a little Vaseline on my lips, y'all. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, y'all, because y'all know I got to go to work. It's early in the morning. And I said, let me come on here and film this doggone Dior video. So the first thing I want to recommend from Dior, y'all, is going to be, we're going to start out with foundation this new foundation stick that they have this is the only foundation that i have from dior i do want to try the forever dior i have not tried it yet but <clears throat> with that said this right here i love this this is the shade 3n i wish they would have had a three warm but they didn't so we had to make this work and you know whatever you do when you're using this don't go ham you know, because this stuff right here is, uh, you know, it does what it said it's going to do. I mean, it covers. <laughs> so you don't really need like, a lot. I believe it says, it's, I believe it's supposed to be medium to full coverage. And whew, it will definitely get full coverage. So you don't need but a few little swipes. You know, sometimes you get a little happy and you put more than you need. But so with this, I mean, if you if you do, it's not going like it's going to just look crazy, but I'm gonna put a little bit more down here. Well, I got some discoloration in it. But, uh, see, look at me, I'm going ham. <laughs> see, it's easy, it's easy to just start putting on more than what you need. Put a little bit on my forehead. I don't really put a lot of makeup on my forehead because I don't really have a need. My forehead is just as smooth and flat as a pancake, so I don't really need anything up there, but I do try to put a little bit up there sometimes just to make it blend in because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face because of the sun, where the sun hit me. And then just bring it on down, y'all. Bring it on down. I'm using just a damp sponge. I like to put some on my ears and everywhere. All right, now what's next? Oh, this doggone thing right here. Now let me do. Let me do. You know what? Let me do my. Let me do my um concealer next. Three W. Holy Grail, been using this for years. I need to get another one because I don't know, I don't like how so much of it gathers around the, um, you see how it looks like when you close it, it's just, it's just a mess. And it's been doing that ever since I had it. You know what? One thing I noticed that Dior don't have, they don't have a setting powder. I don't think. And it would be nice if they did, because I bet they would. Um... I got hair in my eye. I bet they would kill it if they did. All right. So we got the 
conceal on. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And now let's go ahead and do our um, cream bronzer. I love this bronzer, y'all, because it's not a contour. <laughs> it's like a little, it's like a little, uh, you know, cream bronzer. It's so pretty. And so the way that I like to do mine, I like to put a little bit right there. When I have clean brushes, it just makes me feel so good. And I'm just going to start swiping. And I like it because <clears throat> it just blends out so effortlessly. Do y'all see that? This right here and the tan shade, the tan um, cream bronzer. This one is the shinier one. And then the cream bronzer is, um, I think it's right here in my face. The cream bronzer is um, like a matte, like a matte type of um, deal. I really don't put a lot on my forehead because most of the time I have hair right there or something, so. I really don't put a lot of bronzer on my forehead. Okay, I like that, I like that. Really, I had already really kind of blended that cream uh, concealer cream that concealer out so I really want to try the too warm <clears throat> because I wanted something just a little bit more brighter but I have I already have a lot of concealers you know it's no need for me to keep just buying concealers like why, why am I doing that <laughs> All right, so what we got next? All right, so next, y'all, I don't have a cream um, blush from Dior. I do want those little, I think I want those little um, duos that they have. I've been watching videos on it, just trying to figure out, do I want them? Because they look like they, they look real deep in the pan, but when you put them on, they look real light, so. I don't know. Oh, no, before we put this on, we're gonna put on some. We're gonna put on some um, bronzer. Now this is the. I, I have this bronzer, and I have. I use this as bronzer. This is the powder unpowdered. This is in the shade uh, six in, and this is in the peachy one, warm peachy something like that. Let me get. <clears throat> oh five one peachy bronze. So let's go ahead and roll with this one. And I love this. This is so pretty, y'all. Let's watch it for y'all. See that? Very pretty shade. All right, so I'm gonna grab this brush right here. This is my rougher in 04 rougher. And I'm just gonna set that um, I'm just going to set that bronzer that I just put on. That is, ooh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, <laughs> let me stop playing. So next, let's go ahead, y'all, and get to our blush, which is gonna be one of my favorites, Charnel. Um, I think I have some more Dior blushes, like I have um, this one, but I don't think they selling this right now. This is uh, Grand Ball, this is so pretty, y'all. Beautiful. 
Um, those are the only two Dior brushes that I think I have. I said I wanted to get me some more, but I don't know. Excuse me, I don't know what shades I want to get. Let me, I'm trying to look for a brush, brush out. Y'all see me looking like, like this, like that? My brushes are right over there, but I forgot. I have my cup of brushes right here, my favorite brushes. And I wanted to let my, do y'all like this? Isn't this pretty? My sister bought me this last Christmas. And I wanted to show her, sister, you see, I found the perfect, perfect thing to use this cup for. I have all of my brushes in here, my favorite brushes. Every brush in here, all of my favorite brushes are housed in this cup. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So just wanted to let my sister know that I am using your cup that you bought me for Christmas last year, and I love it, okay? Love you too. All right, so let me see what brush I wanna use. Um, You know what, we're gonna go with this. Since we rolled with the Sonya G earlier, we're gonna keep on rolling with Sonya. So this is the Soft Cheek, Sonya G Soft Cheek. No, I really wanna use my big boy though. I washed it. Look at me. Oh, God. This is... Y'all, I don't know how y'all, you know, feeling about your tools and stuff, but... If you want your makeup stuff a little airbrushed, start investing in you some food aid brushes. Goat is good, but squirrel is better. And that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so let's go ahead. Mmm. Mm. I love this blush. It's shiny. It looks like a peachy. I want to say like a peachy nude. Mm-hmm. One more. <laughs> One more for the road. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we have our blush right, on. So next we're moving on. We're going to go with highlighter. This thing right here keeps coming out. Oh, I, may, I need to just throw it away because I don't use it. No way. This little shade right here. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go across both of these. I love this highlighter. Dior got like some great highlighter. All right. Got that out the way. So let's, let's see, let's go ahead and start on our eyes. All right, everybody, I am back. Y'all, I had to take off that soft cashmere. I just didn't like, it wasn't giving me what needs to be gave. I don't know what it is. It just was not, it wasn't doing what I needed it to do. <laughs> I think it's because of the blood shade that I have. So anyway, we're going to go back in, y'all. We are going to, let me see. I think I'm going to use this palette right here. And... I think I'm going to use it as like a one and done. I'm just going to put this right here. Going across my lid. Mm -hmm. You know, the Dior palettes, they have a lot of different kind of textures in them. So, I'm not sure I wipe that off. Um, like it's not really necessarily a matte matte, might be a satin. So those give you a different type of um, look. And so I'm just gonna go across my mobile lid here with this brown shade right here. And then 
I'm going to use that burgundy shade. I'm trying to see do, see, do I want to use it as like an eyeliner. And of course, y'all know I'm going to use my bronzer as a um, transition shade. Yeah, that looks much better. Woo! Stay y'all gonna, um, I'm gonna put this white shade here. Right here. Cause that, um, soft cashmere had me looking a little crazy. And I didn't like it. So let's see how this burgundy looks as an eyeliner. I hope it looks good, y'all, because I don't have time to change change it again. I got to go to work in a little bit. Everyone started getting their hauls in yet? <clears throat> I got one of mine in. I got one more coming. Uh, I think it'll be here Friday, so... I'll have a Sephora haul video up for you guys on Friday. And I'm so excited about it. All right, and that's just gonna have to be that on that right there now. And I'm going to straighten that up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side because that side looked like it got a little bit more. As a matter of fact, where is my, yeah. This is the brush, brush I like to use when I'm doing like a lower lash line, some shadow on my lower lash line. This is the Sonya G. I can't see that right now. I'll tell y'all in one minute. And this um, eyeshadow palette that I'm using, y'all, I'm so sorry. Let me tell y'all what the name of it is. Just bringing it down a little bit. This is, um, hold on. The name of this brush is Sonya G Pencil Pro. And the name of the eyeshadow palette is the Dior, Dior wait a minute, Dior Riviera Bayadere 479. That was one of those limited edition palettes that came out. And I, 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 I got that one because I just love that color story. But everybody else was saying that because it was two that they came out with. Everybody was saying that that other one was the would have been the one to go with. But oh, well, it is what it is. I like that one pretty good. It's just that the textures in it. I don't, I don't like all the different textures. Just give me a good matte, give me a good shimmer. You know what I'm saying? I'll take a little satin here and there, but I'm not really jiving with that. Uh, some of those textures that are in there. But who knows? I probably just need to play with it a little bit more. That's probably all it is. I don't I don't really be playing with my eyeshadow pads like I need to. Um, I have certain ones that I gravitate to, which are the all oh, matte ones. <laughs> I like mattes. Now, when you're talking about shimmers, you know I, I love me some Pat McGrath and some Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona. But um 
pretty much all my other ones are going to be. With the exception of Guerlain. Guerlain, I'm like, a, whatever they use in their palettes. Always work well for me. And I love them. All right. So let's see what we got next, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. It's a it's crazy how stuff just come together for you, ain't it? I'm gonna put a little bit more of that um what is the brush that I use for my bronzer? I want to put a little bit more bronzer on. Everything's coming together. So for as far as what I recommend from Dior, everything that I have on, I recommend. I really don't have a eyeshadow palette to recommend except for the soft cashmere. And oh, and the bronze sepia palette. I recommend that. Um, I'm going to use this and put a little bit more bronze on. Um, but everything that you saw me put on today is what I recommend. That, that um, foundation stick, 10 out of 10. The bronzer stick, 10 out of 10. Um... Definitely the concealers are 10 out of 10. Excuse me. 10 out of 10. Any of the highlighters, 10 out of 10. Any of the bronzes, 10 out of 10. These right here, I forgot about these. 10 out of 10. I love these. Real pretty. Uh, any of them, I want to add the peach to my collection. Uh, what else I got? So I have this lipstick. It's very pretty, but I'm not going to put it on because it just does not go with what I have on today. Um, well, let me see. See, if I put it on, I got to I gotta put some gloss over it. And I don't really have a gloss, a clear gloss sitting right here in front of me. But yeah, so this is so pretty, y'all. And, and it's matte. This is a matte shade. So um, you have to, I, me personally... I have to put just a little bit of gloss on with it because it's kind of drying. But this is the shade, what's this, 757? I recommend any of those Dior Addicts um, lip glosses. That's what I could have put on. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> I do know where, where it is. I know where it is. It's over there with the rest of my lip sticks and stuff. But I have to get up and go get it. Mm. Let me see. Do I love y'all enough to get up and go find it? I do. Give me one minute. Okay, y'all. I got it. I'm going to try something right quick. Y'all know I like to try different stuff. You have to try stuff with some of your some of your makeup just to see if if it'll work better with us with something different. Now, I just thought about it when I wear the Chanel. Sometimes I'll use a sponge to put it on, and I like the way that looks because the the texture of it is not it's not really a matte and it's not it's not a shimmer. It's something, but it does better with the sponge. <laughs> All right, now, oh, I went over there and got this for y'all. God, I done came over here and started doing something else. Okay, so this is the Dior. Let's see. This is the Dior, hold on, Addict in the shade 812. 
And it's so pretty, y'all. Look at that. Woo! And I'm gonna put it on. It's not like the YSL candy glaze, like real, real slippery and slide, slippery like that. It's not gonna give you that. It's just, yeah. I'm gonna put on a little chestnut lip liner with it. But it's very pretty. I like it. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. So kind of like a cross between a lip balm, kind of like a cross between a lip balm and a lip gloss, but it's to me more of a lip balm. I'm gonna put on me a little bit of my beloved House Labs, I'm sorry, House Labs, Hourglass Setting Spray. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Fleur. Oh, just for an uplift, a quick uplift, pick me upper. Y'all, this stuff right here have you feeling so good. I love it. I ordered the dragon fruit one and I can't wait till I get it. I love it. And so these are all of my recommendations from Dior. Definitely recommend any of the Dior Addicts. Definitely recommend any of the blushes. Definitely recommend any of the highlighters. Definitely recommend that foundation stick, the concealer, and that contour stick in tan or any other shade, whatever shade you want to get. Definitely recommend, highly recommend um, Soft Cashmere or Bronze Sepia um, Eyeshadow Palette. That other one that I used just now, that was a limited edition. So I don't think you can buy that no more. No way. I don't recommend it anyway. I don't really care for it like that. But see, I don't like, I don't like that right there. I'm going to put some of this on. Over it. This is bronze sepia, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I just been doing stuff. See how that looks so much better. I should have used this palette. But I think I used it last time when I, um, the last Dior video I did. I think I used it. So I want to do something different for y'all. But yeah, that looks better already. But, uh, so, yeah, that other one, the Bayer Dare. I was not too, was not too enthused with that one. Too pleased. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope I gave y'all some recommendations that you can use. Uh, I'm sorry that I was did not include Dior in my original in my original Sephora video, but I told y'all I was gonna come back and do it for y'all, and so that's what I had to do. Um, what else, y'all? Please, please, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Do not forget to like and subscribe and share if you care. We have six more days until the, the Sephora sale is over with. I think the end it ends November 11th. So y'all go ahead and make your final decisions on what you're gonna get and um, and have fun while doing it. Remember, if it's not, if you're not having fun doing it, I gotta tone this down a little bit. This looks, you know what? I think that's that hourglass that may look like that, that spray. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> um, if you're not having fun doing it, then don't do it. Um, especially when it comes to spending money. Make sure you're spending your money on something that you like and that you're going to use. All right. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I got to go go downstairs. <laughs> like, I got to go. So, I just got to go right on downstairs. But I'll be in the office next week. So, I'm going to try to get these videos out for y'all this week. Because next week, I won't really probably be doing a lot of filming. Because I have to wake up extra early to go to work. My job is an hour and 15 minutes away from my house. So, I don't have a lot of time when I have to go into the office to do a lot of filming. But at any rate, 
Um, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.